a shot. I find that I rarely appreciate the subtle yearly improvements in EA Sports video games until I play one that's about a decade old and see the culmination of numerous subtle improvements, all forming one giant improvement. And while there's certainly been massive hardware advancements in this time period, the EA Sports NHL series just continues to get better and better. And while graphics don't make the game, when it comes to sports games and hockey in particular, they make a large part of it. However, NHL 98 is not without its merits. Pennsylvania, where EA Sports presents the NHL exhibition game between the Vancouver Canucks and the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's fun to see things that don't exist anymore and play as players that you remember from back in the day who are broadcasters now or just flat out retired. It's fun to see the old logos and the old jerseys, and sure, if you're used to playing NHL 10 or NHL 11, when you start this game you'll be hit with a whole lot of fugly. But keep in mind, the late 90s may be the most awkward period for sports games ever. Johnson shoots the puck! McLean made the save. He passes it! Pittsburgh intercepts the pass! He holds on to it. Check it out. We've got actual player names on the ice, real human broadcasters, and somewhat authentic crowd noises. All things that are expected now. Back then, they were new. And that's impressive. The Vancouver Canucks win the faceoff. Jelena gets knocked to the ice by Olison. Shoots! Brave scores! Now you see, that's not impressive. That's just upsetting. Pavel Bure. Bure passes it. He is checked. Francis passes it to Johnson. The pass is in his... He scores! Ron Francis scores, assisted by Yaromir Yager. It's been a while, and that's why playing NHL 98 is fun. It's like revisiting old friends who then left and went to different teams, who weren't really your friends anyway. But you kind of thought they were. Where's Yager's mullet? Woolley passes, Nedved shoots the puck, Karpatsev gets the puck to Gretzky. He scores! I tried to check him, I fully intended to. Except I really couldn't tell what direction my players were facing. You see, graphical improvements make that kind of stuff easier. I actually really enjoy the early 90s EA Sports NHL games, like NHL 91, my all-time favorite sports game. And I love the newer ones, like NHL 11, a 20-year difference between those games. This one's right in the middle, and it shows. It's that transition from the old-school 2D arcade style to the modern recreation of real-life style, with a familiar 3D style gameplay, albeit a very choppy one. I uh, actually had this game back in the day for the PlayStation 1, although it's been so long I really can't directly compare the two. They're fun games, you can't go wrong with NHL 90... or uh, 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 What are they gonna do when it becomes 2098? How about that? And how about the commentating? They've gotten a lot better. I enjoy seeing the old Penguins logo, which was the new Penguins logo back when we used the old Penguins logo, which is actually the current Penguins logo. As you can see, you can change camera perspectives. This is like the old school style, and the gameplay is actually right in between the older games and the newer ones. Scoring in this game is actually more like the really old NHL games. It's more a matter of luck and charging the net than actually aiming. They've sort of done away with that with all of the new stick handling refinements, but back then you just threw the puck at the net and charged it, and then pushed everything, including the goaltender, through the net. That's a fight with Kevin Stevens, you traitor. You got the NHL teams in this game, you've got some international teams, and obviously the strength of any NHL hockey game is being able to play against a friend. Now you can do it online from a safe distance so neither of you can punch each other, but back then you had to play in the same room, so violence definitely erupted which made the game even better. 
A big thanks to Joe from Pittsburgh for donating this game. On a two-line offside pass. Oh, come on. Nonsense. Well, I can't speak for football, baseball, or basketball games. I'm really not that familiar with them. Old school hockey and soccer games are a lot of fun to revisit, even if they're nowhere near the technical perfection that we would expect these days. It's great to see some old players, old teams, even the old stadiums. And there's some of the cheapest games that you can buy. It's NHL 98 on the Sega Saturn. If only I could go back in time to 1998 when you could buy Penguins tickets for like 10 bucks and had planned ahead and bought season tickets, which are now impossible to get forever. Now's the time to buy Pirates season tickets. I think I've got a 20 in my pocket. It's time to get some. Hatcher moves the puck. Scores! 